Hello everyone, today we are going to build a small application where we are trying to create this design here. So we have here an image and on top of this image we have also another kind of image which has a little bit white spacing around it. And we also have here a button which is placed over our image and which also has a white spacing and here is the text. And we have this icon here to select a menu. Then we have here these two simple buttons and a vertical divider between and a simple text. So I think that's not the challenge. The main challenge might be this image overlapping here. So let's go and try to accomplish it. The first thing what we want to do is to create the simple stuff. So we go here with these buttons and also the text. Therefore we go here to our body of our scaffold and here we want to create a method which is called build main buttons. And here we want to return a row because we have here a button, then a divider and also button. We just write here a row and pass in two buttons. Therefore we create these both build button methods and here we simply create a flat button and inside we have a column where we display a text with a number and then a little bit spacing between and another text. So it's pretty simple, just a button with some text inside. And if we hot reload it, we have these base buttons. Another thing we want to have is a vertical divider between these buttons here. So we have here this widget, which is called vertical divider. And if we hot reload it, we have this light colored divider here. We go to our theme data and here we add this divider color where I go with black and opacity of 80%. And if we hot reload it, we have here a stronger divider. The next thing we want to do is to limit the height of our vertical divider because we only want to have it until here. So we simply wrap it here into another widget which is called intrinsic height. This widget is useful if you have unlimited height available. It will then just make sure that it is sized to the other children here inside of our row. Let's compare it quickly to our design. So we have accomplished this design we only need to lay out these widgets equally to the width of our screen. So we go to our row and here we have this main axis alignment, main axis alignment, space evenly. So with the space evenly property, we just say that all of our widgets, in this case, we have this widget and this widget and this widget should be fairly split here in this row so that everyone has enough spacing around it. So now that we have this button, we add here another column and below it we want to have a text which we align to the center and if we see this image here we have also a spacing between so we also add the size box here this height and we have the spacing okay now let's go over to the interesting parts of our application the top thing here first of all we add also spacing to the top of our buttons and here we simply create another widget which we create in our widget directory now we have here this new stateless widget and we create another method which is called build header background. So we will simply build this background image here and we also need to import our widget here and inside of our build header background we create a simple image which we load from our file system. So we have here this pancake which we simply load. We also need to add this method here to our build method and then hot restart our application. And now we have here this pancake image. And if we compare it to our design, we see that this design has limited height. So we will also add it here to our image. So we will wrap it here around with another widget, which is called size box. And here we simply give it a height of 152. But we also want to have this image expanded to the width. So we will simply write here double infinity for our width. And let's hot reload it. And then we have this nice looking image here. The next thing we want to do is to create a simple button here and then we want to care about this complex design at the end of this video. So we wrap our build header background into a stack and then we have here this pop up menu button and then we can supply it with an item builder where we place the menu items which are shown here. If we click on this view profile is shown and add to friends in this case. So these are these both items here. And we want to have this button to the right side. So we go to our positioned widget and 
Here we just say zero to the right position and it will then align to the right. And we also need to change this black color here to a white color like it is in our design. Therefore we go to our main file and here inside we have the theme data and we add here this icon theme, icon theme data and here we set for our icons the color of white. And if you hot reload it, we have this white icon. So we are pretty close to our challenge here. The next thing what we want to do is to create this profile image here. Therefore we need to load an image and set it to a square size. We go back to our widget and here we create a new method for our profile. So we simply load here an image, which I have got here. This is like the profile image. This image we will set to our container later and this container we give it a square size of 92. And we set it here to box fit cover so that it will size to the container size later. And here we have this decoration property where we simply create another method which is also called decoration. And here we want to pass some information, the context of our application and also this image which we loaded. And here we simply create another method decoration. We also need to add this profile to our stack here. So we add it at the end. And now we have here this profile image and what is happening here? So what is happening here? We set a decoration for our container and pass here this image which we loaded, which is this image. Then we set this border radius here to circular. So we have here a circular image. Let's just remove here this box shadow. So you see what is happening. We have here only this circular image. And now we also add this box shadow here. And here we take the color of our scaffold, which is this background color here, a kind of white color. And then we can here supply with spread radius how big this border should be around our image. And we can here go, for example, with two, then it's smaller, or with eight, then it's big. And I figured out we need to go with four, then it looks quite similar to our application here. Now we want to create here another method which is containing this image, this button and also a text. So what is our plan? How can we achieve this design? So we have here currently this profile image and what we simply do, we put this here and this widget here into a row and this widget itself is in a column, so we have a text and below a button, which has a little bit spacing between. And here in our row, we have also spacing. So I have created here this new method, build header content, where we simply create this row. And here inside, we put the build profile, the first thing. Then we have a little bit spacing between 24. And then we want to add a column so that we can show the text and then underneath the button. And here we simply set the text. The next thing what we have here is the spacing. So we have between our text and this button a spacing of 16. And then we want to create this button. So that's what we are going to do next. So we create here this method build follow button and we will not implement it for now. And we also want to add this build header content to our position where our profile was. And now we have this profile image here, this text, and now we want to create the button here at the bottom. So first of all, we create here a simple flat button, set a text. We also set the on presence. So if we tap here, it is highlighted and we get notified in this method. And we also set your color to blue. Let's have a look at our design again. So like you can see, our button is rounded. So we go to our flat button here and we have here a property which is simply called shape. So we want to change the shape of our button and here we want to set the rounded rectangle border and here we have this border radius which we simply set to border radius circular and 16 and if we hot reload it we have here this new circular shape. We also can here go with a lower number for example with 8 then our button is not that rounded but we will go here with 16. The next thing what we need also for this image, like it was here also, we need this background color of white. And for our profile image, we simply added here a decoration property and passed our image and the context. And we do the same for our button. So let's copy it quickly. And here for our button, we wrap it into a container and then we paste it here inside what we copied before. 
and we only get here rid of the image. So we don't need to pass it here because we don't have here an image, we have only a button. With this decoration again, we simply set a box shadow of color white and also the circular border around our shadow. So if we hot reload it, we have the shadow here around, which is pretty cool. But like you can see, it's not correct like it is in our image here. So we have here in the vertical axis more space and in the horizontal axis it is correct. Therefore, we need to go to our button and here we have a property which is called material tab target size and we need to set it here to shrink web and this will care about that our button doesn't take this vertical extra padding and now if we compare it I think it looks quite the same. And we also have here this positioning of our image to the text and to the button correct. Now we only need to change the position of this total widget so that it is aligned here to the bottom. Therefore, we simply take this build header content, which is responsible for showing these three items, this image here, this text and this button, and we wrap it into a positioned widget. And now we want to align it here to the bottom. So we go here to our positioned widget and set bottom to zero. And if we hot reload it, it looks like this. Let's compare it quickly to our design. We see that this image is at the bottom with zero. However, in our design, it looks more that this image here is overlap with the content below. That's what we need to change. And how can we achieve this? We simply add here to our background image more margin to the bottom. And therefore, the stack which is wrapping this whole content will also be larger. And as a result, it will shift these three widgets here more to the bottom. So let's do it. We go here to our method build header background which was responsible for displaying only the background image of this pancake and we wrap it here into a column so that we can add here spacing to the bottom and here at the end we set the size box and here we simply add a size box with a height of 24 so that our background gets a larger height and as a result this stack which is wrapped around this build header background got also the size of this build header background and because a stack in general tries to size to children which are not having this positioned syntax. So in our case we have here three widgets this one, this one and this one and these both are positioned so they are not calculated in the size of our stack. So let's remove it here for example if we just remove it we don't see anything so we won't see this pop-up menu button and also not the header content. And another thing we need to do is to shift this image here and this follow button more to the right position. And it's pretty simple. We go here to our positioned widget of our header and here we have this property left. And we want to push our three widgets here by 24 from the left side away. So let's add it here and hot reload it. And then we have here this great looking image. Now you will realize, okay, it looks maybe the same, but it doesn't really look great, right? Because we have here this image, which is pretty light. And then we have here this light text and it doesn't look right. So what we need to do, we can of course exchange it here with an image which is dark like it is shown here. But if it's not the case and we don't want to change it, we simply go to our image, to our background image method. And here inside we can set a color which we set to colors.black. Let's do it quickly and hot reload it. Then you see the whole thing here got black. And what we want to do is we want to actually set this color black with an opacity of 40%. Let's hot reload it. Then we have this gray color here, but actually we want to see also the image. So what we need to do here is to add a blend mode. And here we have different kind of blend modes which you can look more into. But we will take here darken and if we hot reload it and now if we compare it again we see that this image has a darker color and we also can see here the text pretty good. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!